have arrived in Rutland about an hour ago to help control the water. Flooding has reached critical levels on the Otter Creek downtown. Around 4 o'clock this afternoon, the river in Rutland crested, flooding State Street, Cleveland Street, Water Street, and several locations downtown Rutland within minutes. And now the race is against time to evacuate people from their homes in these hard-hit areas. Susie Steimel has more. This is Water Street, one of several Rutland locations that the fire department evacuated Sunday afternoon. Flooding like I've never seen. Uh, high, fast, way over the banks. The river crested, filling Water Street, State Street, Baxter, and Cleveland with raging water. Clover Street was the first street in Rutland to flood Sunday. It was corn in the back door, corn in the windows, and there's a good three to four feet of water behind the store. Water poured into the basement of the Rutland TV service, ruining nearly $10,000 of Tom Seward's merchandise. I have a lot of test equipment. I have a lot of customer repairs. I have a lot of parts, and they're going to be all lost. Across the street, fire crews urged residents to evacuate for the second time. We came earlier and asked them out to evacuate. Uh, some did. Those who stayed well, were told that they're going to be on their own, that we will not come and, and get them out. Homeowners say they didn't heed the warning so they could pump out their basements, hoping to save anything they can. We've been pumping our house at least 20 times. The water keeps going right back in. Emergency crews across the state have been battling the raging waters since Sunday morning. This is what the front yard of the East Wallingford Baptist Church looked like Sunday afternoon. As you can see, it's completely washed out, just like many roads in southern Vermont, including parts of East 140. It just seems that the water's coming so fast that it's all rising up, and the, the culverts and bridges can't handle the amount of water.